and I'm going to try something new today. I'm in Lake County, which is northern Illinois, and I'm at uh, one of the forest preserves here along the DuPage River. The Page River is right over here. It's a 360, so spin around if you want to see this large area, which is what I'm going to talk about here. So this land is Forest Preserve, County Forest Preserve. Um, but it brings up an, a topic that I would like to talk about in terms of coming up with a better understanding. It's political. We don't need anybody uh, else talking politics, so I'm not looking for political answers. I'm looking more economic answers. And I'm looking for people with either references to primary sources or first-hand experience. Uh, obviously, I moderate the comments, so somebody's going to say you're, you know, doesn't work that way, or you're an idiot, or it should work this way. You got to back up your claim somehow. So uh, I'm looking for finding a better solution, not to find who's right or wrong. All right. So the topic is this prairie, which is just beautiful. I mean, it really is. A beautiful prairie here and it's November so obviously it's out of bloom but in the summertime it's fantastic and most of the people that cycle or walk through here look at this prairie as a prairie right we're restoring we're going back to the way Illinois used to be but my understanding is the reality of this particular section and sections like this is as runoff for flooding river so my question is how to well, I guess two questions how culpable how responsible are local governments for issuing building permits on lands like this how responsible upstream should they be for flooding downstream um, another way to look at it would be the California fires you know how responsible of local governments for issuing building permits in on the side of mountains and the areas that go up in flames, unfortunately, and burn down, you know, should the insurance companies be going back to the local municipalities saying, hey, you know, you, you guys are actually responsible for this a, a little bit. Um, so that's question number two. Question number or one, question number two is, what are the economics of this land? So my feeling is, and by the way, I've been a, a commissioner on environmental commission for my local town. I've done some environmental consulting for a state uh, congressman as well as uh, the congressman in D.C. on behalf of the state of Illinois. So I, I'm not speaking from, you know, complete um, non-understanding. I do have some first-hand experience. And my experience or my understanding would be that the economics of a field like this of preserving this field and maintaining the scarcity of housing instead of bulldozing it and getting 15 20 new homes that the let's call it 20 year later economics are better to leave this prairie here as an asset to the homeowners that are already living here and who move in taxes would go up through property values going up uh, any type of well there'll be park district income that would come from this sort of thing i don't know if that can be bucketed in the same as the town but uh in general, what's the cradle to the grave, or at least a 20-year cradle to grave concept of a field economically? If anybody has an understanding or some experience in that um, financial analysis, I would love to hear about it. Thank you.